Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Blonde Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com and today we're continuing our last video by discussing uh, uh, menu options in DaVinci Resolve that um, for the most part most people never heard of. And today we're going to be discussing color, so let's start. Sometimes uh, uh, you have different cuts from the same clip that should all have the same color. So for example, I'll select this clip here. I'm going to make it really red just to uh, make the point uh, clear here. So for example, I want to add this color to the next clip. I can simply select the next clip. And all I need to do is to go to color and select apply grade from one clip prior. And there's even a shortcut key here. So if I click it, now this clip just copied all the nodes that were added to the clip right before it. And you can actually copy the grade from two clips prior. So not from the clip right before it, but the one before that. To do that, for example, let's say I selected this clip now and I made this clip really blue. So now I'll select this third clip here and I'll go to color and select apply grade from two clips prior. And notice that this clip just became blue because we copied the grade not from the clip right before it, but from the one before that. And that can make your work much, much faster. The next one is very interesting. Did you know that you can change the thumbnail size and the color tab. So notice the size of the thumbnail here in the color tab. I can simply open the view menu and you have an option here that says timeline thumbnail size. I can switch it to small. So now notice that the thumbnails became much smaller, providing me with extra real estate in the color page. And I can make it larger, for example, by going to view, timeline thumbnail size and select large. And now I have larger thumbnails that are easier to view, but they just take a bit more uh, real estate area. Now the next option is regarding adding notes. We all know that you can simply go to color, nodes, and add a serial node. And I just added a new node. However, what if I want to add a node that already contains a window? Because I know it's pretty easy to add a window. So this is a node with no window. I can simply open the windows menu here, click here, and now I have a window on this node. However, let's delete this node, go to color, nodes, and here I have extra options. For example, this option here, if I click it, it says add serial node plus CPU, which stands for circular. If I click it, now I have a new node added that already contains a window. And this can speed your work a lot because what if I want to control this part of the image? I can simply add it here. So now I have a window here and then I can simply go to color nodes, add the serial node with a window and now I have a new node that maybe contains a different part. And the great thing here is that you can actually add shortcuts. So let's delete all the new nodes we added and I already created the shortcut uh, on my keyboard with the up arrow to add a window with a circular to add a node with a circular window every time I hit the up key. So I'll simply hit the up key and now I have a node with a window added that might control this and the up key again and maybe I'll just add another one here and again the up key and it just makes the whole process much much faster of controlling different areas in your image. And the great thing is that if you go to color nodes you also had other options. For example the LPW will simply add a node that already contains a different kind of window and you can experiment with the rest of the options. And you can even copy a node. So one node to clips you select. Let's say for example that I create a new node here and this new node will add a lot of contrast for example just to make it clear. So now while selecting this clip I can hit command on my keyboard and select other three clips for example. So this one, this one, this one. So currently I am on this clip. You can see that the orange color is around it. However, I have these three clips selected and I have a certain note selected in this clip here. I can simply now go to color and select a pinned note to selected clips. And what happened here is that Resolve copied this particular node. So one node from this clip and it appended it to the nodes uh, from the other clips which means that it did not replace the nodes in the other clips, it just copied this node and added it on top of the nodes that were already existing in the other clips. The next thing is that you can add presets to the qualifier with a single click. So for example, I open the qualifier here and it's pretty easy to do qualification and resolve. I can simply select all the greens here. That's pretty easy. However, one of the nice things I can do is just simply go to color, presets, 
and here I have a lot of presets for the qualifier. So for example, I can select six vector green, and now if I activate the highlights mode, note that Resolve already selected the green color, and I can simply hit center here to move this selection around. We discussed this in other videos, but uh, I don't think a lot of people um, realize how powerful this is because you can simply assign a shortcut for this and work really fast. The next thing is markers. Let's say I'm on the edit tab and I added a marker at this point. So this is a marker here and I can give a name to the marker. I'll double click it here and say, for example, match to this shot and maybe I can come to this point here and add another marker and let's double click and call this marker make the sky more blue. Great. So now I added two markers and the color page on top of the monitor here, I can open these three dots here, go to markers, and I can actually see the names of the markers that I created in the edit page, which means, for example, I can select match to this shot, and it took me to the exact frame that I want to match this shot to. And for example, I can click three dots again, go to markers, and go to make the sky more blue, and it took me to the exact frame again with the marker. So this is the name of the marker here, and this is the time of the marker, and this allowed me to work much faster by simply sending notes using markers from the uh, edit page to the color page, which makes it very easy for me later to see exactly what I need to do. Another feature here makes the qualifier more useful. So for example, I'll click here to activate the qualifier and now I can simply hover the qualifier on top of uh, any object here, click, and it will just give me the exact uh, values on, on the curves. However, I can right click on the uh, monitor itself and select show picker RGB values. And now whenever I hover on top of an object, Resolve will show me the exact RGB values for this particular object I'm hovering the mouse over now. And this might be very helpful if you need to work with other softwares and you need to know exactly the RGB values for a certain object in your image. Another very useful feature is that in Resolve, I can actually display two node graphs next to each other. So for example, I'll just come to this image here and I'll add a couple of nodes and maybe, uh, you know, change something in the nodes. So I have a certain node structure for this image. And let's say I come to another image, this one, for example, and I add a different node structure and I need to compare both, for example. So while this particular clip is selected, I can right click on top of the other clip and select display node graph. And now I can see both node graphs for both clips at the same time. For example, if I need to compare them. Another very useful feature is to clean the node graph. So let's say that my node graph isn't very clean here. What I can do is to simply right click anywhere in the node area and select clean up node graph and Resolve will line up the nodes in a way that is easier to understand, cleaning up the node graph a bit. The next one is very interesting because we all know how to grab a still from a certain frame in Resolve. So for example, if I like the colors of this image, I can simply right click and select grab still and I just grabbed a still here from the image. However, what if you need to grab one still from every single image in your timeline. That can take forever. You need to open every image, uh, load it into the monitor, right click, save, go to the next one. But there is a much easier option. I can simply right click on the monitor and select grab all stills. So what will happen here is that Resolve will grab one still from every single clip in your timeline. So I can tell Resolve to grab the still from the first frame or from the middle. So for example, I'll select from the middle frame and now note that Resolve grabbed one still from each and every image. And the other option is that if I right click, I can select grab missing stills. So Resolve will not be grabbing stills from all clips, only from the clips that do not have a still grabbed from them. So I hope that was helpful. If you like this, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve crash course uh, that is designed for the absolute beginner and can get you started with every single tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com.